en coûte. Le président, Please veuillez vous asseoir. Seated. Reprise de l'audience. La Chambre Next, I hand over the floor à présent to the la parole à la Défense, the accused, en commençant par la Défense de Munchen, qui pourra so you interroger le témoin. Put, uh, questions for this witness. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Good Maître afternoon, Your Honor. Merci, Monsieur le um, Président. Bonjour, Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges. Before we would like to start questioning uh, the witness. I would like Avant to le um, make the remark that we have just again been served with a um, big binder with um, two statements um, from case four, statements from witnesses in case four. One statement seems to be um, a very important statement for our case. It contains, as we briefly saw, 128 pages. Il fait 128 pages. Nous um, vu yesterday, we were able to glance through the statements quickly to see if it was any relevance uh, si in relation to this witness. Obviously, when we were served now, it's only five minutes or ten minutes ago, we are not able nous venons de recevoir to have a proper look at uh, uh, these statements. So, I think right now we have reached the moment that the stade, only proper way to la seule façon de procéder consiste à reporter les audiences en attendant que nous ayons pu au moins jeter un premier coup d'œil à ces nouveaux procès-verbaux. Hier, nous avons dit que nous pourrions poursuivre l'interrogatoire de ce témoin, mais à présent, nous pensons avoir atteint un point où il n'est plus possible de continuer. Officiellement, nous demandons que l'on reporte la poursuite des audiences à plus tard. Le Président, la parole est au coprocureur international. Je vous en prie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Euh, bon après-midi. Donc, effectivement, yes, nous indeed, avons remis euh, aux parties présentes à la salle d'audience les deux euh, procès-verbaux faisant partie du, des 89 procès-verbaux dont on a parlé uh, hier. Ces deux procès-verbaux concernent uh, concern ce segment-ci, Trangkakchan. Trang Nous avons eu le Trang souci Trang de communiquer and, uh, ces deux procès-verbaux sans plus attendre aux parties de façon à ce qu'elles puissent uh, les, les lire so au plus that, vite. Uh, they, the as, uh, as Donc voilà pourquoi nous so l'avons fait. Ce n'est pas pour prendre les gens par surprise, évidemment. Effectivement, il y a un procès-verbal qui est assez long. Indeed, there is Ceci dit, that is quite long. dans les huit procès-verbaux qui ont été communiqués hier et les deux qui ont été communiqués aujourd'hui qui concernent ce qui veut dire dix procès-verbaux qui concernent ce segment-ci, concern segment, on peut dire de toute façon que euh, parmi ces dix procès-verbaux, il y en a que ten written records, <coughs> certains qui parlent d'un seul that, témoin, d'un uh, témoin à venir, qui est le 2 TCW 809, si je ne Dans ces dix procès-verbaux, il n'y a pas d'autres mentions de témoins que nous aurions déjà entendus ou qui viendraient uh, prochainement. Who, uh, would, uh, come, uh, je ne pense pas non soon. plus qu'à ce stade, And le fait qu'on ait uh, fact, uh, notifié ce midi at, uh, dans un souci de célérité aux parties de procès-verbaux, que ceci empêcherait d'entendre le témoignage de M. Yao cet après-midi. De même qu'il n'est pas non plus démontré que cela aurait un impact sur le témoignage de la personne qui est programmée demain. Person's uh, testimony tomorrow. Il ne s'agit pas de personnes qui sont These nécessairement directement impliquées uh, ou concernées par les, or les autres procès-verbaux uh, qui ont été uh, by the other written records that were notified to the parties. Voilà, S'il so, fallait uh, so, donner des détails concernant le contenu uh, de ces dix procès-verbaux qui concernent ce segment-ci, uh, records, uh, un, un collègue qui pourrait vous les colleague, fournir uh, uh, d'ici quelques minutes si jamais la chambre le souhaite. In the coming minutes, uh, if uh, the chamber wishes so. Je vous en prie, maître, allez-y. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, 
Encore une fois, je pense que nous avons un problème de méthode et de conception de ce qui peut être utile dans le cadre de la confrontation de témoignages. Premièrement, pour que ce soit bien clair, nous ne sommes pas en train de dire que le bureau du coprocureur nous pose des pièges et on a bien compris quels étaient les problèmes de divulgation avec les bureaux de, le bureau de, des, causes des causes d'instruction. Il n'en demeure pas moins qu'aujourd'hui, euh, monsieur le coprocureur peut se lever et vous dire euh, le contenu euh, des déclarations n'impacte pas euh, euh, tel ou tel témoin. Et nous, nous sommes à l'aveugle et nous ne pouvons pas vous le dire puisque nous n'avons pas lu, euh, le contenu de ces témoignages. Donc la, la discussion euh, est biaisée sur ce premier point. Le deuxième point, c'est ce que je disais hier également, à savoir que ce n'est pas parce qu'on n'a pas nommément un témoin qui est en ce moment... Euh, qui va venir euh, dans le box des témoins dans les déclarations, que les déclarations ne sont pas à notre sens pertinentes. Ce n'est pas parce que les noms n'apparaissent pas que les faits ou que les éléments tels que décrits dans le cadre du fonctionnement des coopératives de, de Kring Tachan n'ont pas pour nous, au niveau de la défense, une utilité. Donc il faut aussi, peut-être que l'accusation ait aussi une vision un petit peu plus générale de ce que peut être le travail de la défense quand on parle de confrontation de témoignages. Donc ça, c'était les deux précisions que je je voulais so, uh, donner two, uh, et dire qu'effectivement, pour le moment, nous sommes un petit peu dans le brouillard du côté de la défense parce que nous n'avons pas les éléments qui sont uh, 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 aux mains uh, des coprocureurs uh, et que nous, donnons, uh, nous demandons simplement à la Chambre l'opportunité d'être à égalité. Le Président, allez-y. Merci, Monsieur le Président, Thank you, Mr. pour donner President, la position des, des co-avocats principaux. Uh, Nous avons rappelé hier à quel point il était important pour les parties civiles que le procès aille de l'avant. Uh, Mais Nous sommes aussi uh, face à une situation, ahead, pour le moins, inhabituelle et problématique, y compris pour nous. Nous venons de recevoir un, un volume de classeurs contenant des pièces dont nous n'avons pas pu prendre connaissance, donc cela pose quand même une difficulté. Nous nous en remettons à la sagesse de la Chambre sur ce point, mais encore une fois, nous comprenons les préoccupations de nos confrères de la Défense, puisque nous sommes exactement dans la même situation. Le Président, allez-y. Merci, je ne serai Thank pas long, Monsieur le Président, uh, I will be brief, mais je voudrais Mr. simplement President, réagir au fait que la Défense suggère uh, que nous ne sommes pas sur un pied d'égalité. En réalité, oui, parce que uh, nous ne pouvons pas utiliser footing. ces procès-verbaux yes, yes, tant qu'ils n'ont pas été communiqués à toutes les parties, tant que nous n'avons pas eu l'autorisation du bureau des juges d'instruction de les communiquer. Donc, on ne peut pas nous-mêmes les utiliser en salle d'audience, je veux simplement que ce soit efficace. Merci. Je voulais juste que ce soit clair. Monsieur le Président, excusez-moi, juste une précision que j'ai oublié de faire, c'est que également dans d'un point de vue purement technique, euh, dans les derniers classeurs qui nous ont été fournis, nous n'avons pas euh, la correspondance avec euh, les, les références que nous pouvons utiliser en audience publique. Ce qui veut dire que, quand bien même nous voudrions aujourd'hui utiliser des déclarations que nous n'avons de toute façon pas encore lues, nous ne pourrions pas le faire euh, dans les conditions qui ont été fixées par les causes d'instruction. Donc ça, c'est un premier point. Et pour répliquer euh, un dernier point sur... Euh, euh, à J'entends bien qu'ils ne and, peuvent and pas and utiliser course, uh, les déclarations uh, tant qu'ils n'ont pas l'autorisation uh, des causes d'instruction, mais à tout le moins, ils ont
Le président, je cède la parole à la juge Fence, qui va indiquer la position de la Chambre sur les questions soulevées par les partis. La juge Fence. Well, everybody hopefully agrees that this is not about assigning blame, but about managing um, difficult situations in a way that ensures a fair and expeditious trial. Um, the Chamber has given this whole situation some thought from yesterday onwards, or even before. Hier, voire avant. And, um, An email will go out to the parties today, which outlines dans cet how email, the chamber envisages la la façon the near future. Dont elle, uh, uh, I don't want to go into the details proche. here because it would be too confusing, but we Ce will give de time to the parties les to familiarize themselves le de with the documents. Connaissance de ces documents. Um, however, we think that as far as today's and Tomorrow's Pour ce qui est concerned, du témoin d'aujourd'hui et de celui de demain, um, the best way to go ahead is la go ahead on the basis of currently available documents. Les audiences en se fondant sur les documents qui Should sont actuellement disponibles. There be a need Au to recall these witnesses after, after à à all of us have had time to familiarize ourselves with the contents of the newly released documents. Des documents qui viennent d'être communiqués. Requests will be made and the chamber will make a decision on that. Des demandes dans ce sens pourront être présentées et la chambre se prononcera le cas échéant. Bah, au compte l'autre chakram. President, thank you. Le président, Judge merci juge Fens. Now the chamber gives the floor to La parole est à présent donnée à la défense de Nunchea qui pourra witness. interroger le témoin. Counsel Thank you, Mr. President. Good Merci, afternoon, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Witness. Bon après-midi, Monsieur le Témoin. Mr. Witness, you answered some questions already, Vous avez déjà répondu à certaines questions, y compris celles posées par l'accusation et par les convocants principaux pour les partis civils. J'aimerais obtenir quelques précisions sur les réponses que vous avez données. While you were working, units were divided. Vous dites que quand vous travaillez Three units à la coopérative, il y avait trois unités. What about the working conditions? Were they the same in the, les conditions de all the units, or were they different in les each unit? Ou non. Answer. Réponse. Mr. President, the workload in All the three units, uh, Dans les trois unités, unit one, la charge de travail uh, variait. Was much, uh, progressive. L'unité 1, uh, uh, c'était les forces unit was not really, uh, avancées. That is why, la troisième uh, unité était moins units, avancée. C'est justement pour cela qu'on crée trois différentes unités. While you were Question. working in your unit, uh, were you allowed to Quand vous uh, dans votre unité, take leave if you were sick? Vous autorisé à prendre congé en cas de maladie? Answer. Réponse. If uh, we were sick, uh, we were allowed to be si hospitalized. Malade, il pouvait aller à l'hôpital. Question. When Question. you were admitted into a hospital or clinic, could uh, you have relatives uh, si uh, taking care of you at the hospital or clinic? Est-ce qu'il pouvait recevoir la visite de proches qui auraient pu s'occuper de lui? No. We Réponse. had no relatives with non. us. We were nous n'avions pas de proches. We nous étions livrés à nous-mêmes. Si un proche avait voulu nous rendre visite, because, uh, il n'y aurait pas été autorisé uh, they were told that, uh, they were not parce qu'on leur disait qu'ils n'étaient pas infirmiers. During the time that you were, you were working, uh, did you have uh, time to relax? Aviez-vous le temps de vous détendre pendant le travail 
answer. Well, we are on duty. Uh, we could not uh, rest. Uh, uh, we started our work, for example, from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. And after that, uh, we took a bath and uh, went to sleep. Nous, nous et nous nous Question. During the time that you were working, uh, was there any regulation stating that uh, you could uh, y relax or have leave uh, once or twice a month? Fixant la fréquence des temps de repos et des congés, par exemple une ou deux fois par Answer. semaine. We do not have time to relax ou plutôt or to une ou deux fois par mois se reprend l'interprète. Réponse, nous n'avions pas le and temps de nous reposer no ou de prendre we congé. No Il n'y avait pas de week-end. Nous pouvions once in every toutefois ten rendre day. visite à notre famille tous les Question. dix jours. So you could, uh, Question, go to visit your family in vous every pourriez donc day. rendre visite correct? à votre famille tous les dix jours, n'est-ce pas Answer yes. Réponse, uh, I oui. could uh, go to visit my family who Je pouvais were rendre in visite à ma mobile famille units. qui faisait so, aussi uh, partie d'une unité itinérante. Mariés pouvaient se retrouver et le lendemain ils Counsel, devaient retourner you. au travail. I now move to another Question. Topic. In the late Abordons un autre thème. To your work in the children units. Il s'agit de votre travail in children à l'unité des enfants. While you were working in the uh, children units, uh, you taught uh, alphabets to the Vous children. Enseignez Did you teach any other subjects to children? Leur appreniez-vous aussi autre chose? Answer. Réponse. No. Non. Children were not taught of any other contents On or other subject matter. They were taught enfants. about alphabets and arithmetics. L'alphabet et l'arithmétique. Question. Based on Question. your answer, you said that uh, there was a guidebook uh, vous avez for you to teach the children. So what was the guidebook about? Cours aux enfants. Quel était son answer. Contenu? As for the guidebook, uh, there were pictures and there contenait were contenait alphabets and vowels in the books. And the guidebook uh, was uh, for teaching children. C'était un manuel utilisé Counsel, thank pour you very donner much. cours aux enfants. After Question. You taught uh, the children. Were the children under your own supervision at night time or Après were cours, they allowed to go back to la nuit, their parents? Est-ce que les enfants restaient sous votre supervision ou bien Answer. les laissait-on aller Retrouver Those leurs children parents. were Réponse. under their, under my supervision, and after ten days, uh, they could have time visait. to visit uh, their Tous les parents. Jours, ils pouvaient rendre visite à leurs parents. Question in relation to food yes. regime. So, so uh, what was the food ration for those children? Quelle ration alimentaire ces enfants recevaient-ils Answer. Children had uh, the same Réponse. meal as the, those who were in the mobile units. Ils prenaient so les mêmes repas que les membres des rice, unités rice, itinérantes. Uh, Il y avait a group of, uh, une casserole de riz cuit pour un groupe de 8 ou 10 enfants. And uh, as for children, they would uh, pack uh, the rice in their Les grandma and uh, le took uh, it to somewhere they could uh, have uh, fish with uh, the rice. Et ils Council, you said that uh, the children could uh, have rice with uh, the uh, grilled fish. So Vous uh, were de children de allowed to find and search for fish to eat? Ça veut dire qu'on laissait les Answer. enfants du poisson during the time that the children uh, went to Réponse. tend cows and cattle uh, they would uh, vaches, find bétail, chance to look for and uh, look for fish so they could have fish ils pouvaient essayer d'attraper des poissons question 
were there any other unit chief uh, above you since uh, you were already supervising vous those children? Vous le superviseur de ces enfants. Aviez-vous vous-même un supérieur? Answer. I réponse. I was the below others. There were other chief uh, above Il y me. avait d'autres chefs And, uh, if, uh, au-dessus de moi dans la hiérarchie. And if the children made any trouble, I would be blamed. Si I mean, un my chief would blame me. Causer des problèmes. Counsel, C'était moi thank you very much. Uh, this is my last question. In your community, were there any jam ethnicity? Question. Dans votre unité, y avait-il Answer. des jam? No, Réponse. there were no jam. Non. Only Khmer. Il n'y avait que des Khmer. Was uh, in my community, and there were no Chinese as well. Il n'y avait pas Counsel, non plus de Chinois. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. That uh, conclude the. Line of la my question. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais terminer. Merci, Maître. Uh, Mr. Victor Coppe. Maître Coppe, allez-y. Maître Coppe. Mr. Witness, bon I have a Monsieur few Monsieur more questions, not many. Quelques questions, um, pas beaucoup. My first question to you is about um, an answer that you gave Elle concerne um, in your statement um, to the que vous avez investigators of the. Um, investigating judges, that's uh, answer 24 of E3 uh, slash 5515. Um, you were asked a question about sick people and uh, you answered um, to the investigator um, something about your wife being sent uh, to the hospital for having um, a postnatal depression. Would you be able to tell us a little bit more how long your wife was sick um, when was she sent to the hospital? Accouchement, quand votre femme est-elle tombée malade et quand a-t-elle été envoyée à l'hôpital? Yes, she had a, a postnatal oui. depression. Elle a une dépression postnatale. And that's uh, prior to 1975. Ça, and at the time we were in the uh, village cooperative, she only delivered her baby for seven couché. days, and then she was ordered to carry her. And she said that she could not do it, but he said it, it should be okay for her. And then she went, and then she became sick. And then we asked for a, a traditional uh, medicine mixed in a wine, but uh, they refused to give it to her. And this happened when we were at Ang Bonnery. And which year was that? Was it b- before 75 or after 1975? It happened before 1975. It happened about uh, two or three months prior to uh, 1975. That when we were ordered to carry us along uh, the, the pond to uh, use it. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, another topic. Um, you spoke earlier about uh, three um, types of uh, cooperative members, um, full rights uh, type uh, candidate members and the positive members. Do you know uh, if between 1975 and 1979 there was a moment that all categories were abolished, it was only one um, sort of community uh, or cooperation member, that there were no more uh, distinctions between the three groups. Do you remember this? As for the, the candidate, the candidate was about to be uh, upgraded to the full rise uh, group, but then the Vietnamese uh, troops allez arrived. Être, uh, allez des but Pavouan, is it correct that in July 1978, um, all 1978, three categories merged as into one category? category. 
réponse. Yes, I I remember uh, some, but uh, it only happened for the, the unit one and unit two, and it, it was not applicable for unit three. Question. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, I move on to another topic. You said earlier this morning um, that when collective meals were introduced, um, that if people did not agree with this, they might be taken away and killed, and that for that reason, nobody dared to make any protest against these um, uh, collective meals. Could you give us any example of anybody uh, who actually protested and was sent uh, to Kangtachan or to, any, to anywhere else? At uh, my uh, work, uh, where I lived to the Au north, travail, it didn't happen, but uh, to the lieu. south part, it happened to one man that was uh, Tavun. He was uh, taken away at Il the time. Été emmené. I wanted to ask you some questions more about Tavin. I'll, I'll do that now, since you mentioned his name. Um, you, you said that you uh, heard from um, a member of your CART unit what the reason was of his arrest and that he was in fact sent to Krang Tachan. Would you be able to tell us why or how the member of the CART unit knew this about Tavin, what was his knowledge uh, for the reasons of his arrest and the fact that he was sent to Krang Tachan? I knew uh, Tavun because I used to uh, wrote, uh, to write an ox card uh, with him. One day he uh, left the uh, kitchen hall after he had uh, his field, and he uh, said that the food was insufficient, and probably somebody overheard uh, that statement that he made, and then uh, he was taken away. But would it be fair to say that you are speculating as to the reason of his arrest, that that could be a reason, but that you don't know for sure? He uh, was arrested Réponse. while I was there because we slept together. As I said, we uh, wrote an, uh, a card together. Dit, but did the people who come to arrest him Coppe, tell him the reason why he was arrested? I'm, I'm still not sure how you know what the reason for his arrest was. Être, no, they didn't state the reason for Réponse, his arrest. Non, they said that he would be taken for re-education. Re re and in fact, in uh, uh, my unit, en fait, that is uh, amongst the 40 members of the unit, he was the one that was taken away for re-education. I'll, I'll, try, I'll, I'll try one more time, and the last time, Mr. Witness, what makes you say that you know the reason for his arrest? What is your, what's the basis of your knowledge for the reason, uh, regarding the reasons of his arrest? I knew because the people whispered to one another for his arrest. After, he, uh, arre after his arrest, Après son then I asked uh, uh, other people and we, they all said that he was taken for re-education. Um, Mr. Witness, this morning you also Monsieur said that um, um, 
people lived in fear during the regime, uh, that people were afraid to make a mistake, uh, because if they made a mistake, they would be taken away and killed. Could you give us one example of somebody who made a mistake and was taken away and then killed? I don't know what example I can give you. Je ne sais pas quel exemple je pourrais vous donner. We were part of the base people group. So du du it de base. did not really happen among our group, but for other groups, Donc, pour uh, notre it, it, it did happen. But are you Maître speaking Coppola. about things that you've heard, that people were gossiping about, or do you have Même actual knowledge uh, about this? Des connaissances précises à ce sujet? What I said was the, uh, what I heard from other people. We uh, talked, for example, when we were having meals about the disappearance of, of someone. But Mr. Witness, would it be fair Maître to say that if you were speaking Monsieur about somebody who disappeared, that si when you were talking about it, you were in fact speculating as to the reason for this Tandis person's arrest? Tandis que vous en parlez, vous ne faites que spéculer quant au motif de son arrestation. No, I did not uh, speculate. I Réponse. said what non, I knew pas at the time. J'ai dit ce que je savais à l'époque. Mr. Witness, is it, it's important Maître for us to establish, uh, if you Monsieur say things, témoin, um, donc, what si the sources of your knowledge is, how you, how you know things. If people talk about things, it doesn't mean that they know. So I'm trying to figure out, trying to find out from, from your answers what the source of your knowledge is. Um, do you understand what I mean? Source de vos informations. Comprenez-vous ce que je vous dis? Yes, I Réponse. understand your question. Oui, j'ai compris votre question. I knew, I knew about the disappearance of uh, someone. For example, in my uh, CAT unit, exemple, one member uh, disappeared. Un then I asked uh, other Alors, members, and then I uh, learned that he was uh, taken away uh, last evening. And that's how I knew about his uh, disappearance. Que je savais que la personne avait disparu. But the answer you're giving is only about Maître the Coppe. fact that somebody disappeared, but not Mais for the reasons que vous nous donnez porte um, why this person disappeared. Do you understand the difference? The fact that somebody was taken away is different le fait que as to the reasons uh, for somebody's arrest. Different des motifs qui ont conduit au fait que cette personne a été emmenée. I uh, didn't know much about that. What I knew was that he was working in my uh, unit and then he disappeared. And after an inquiry, I knew that, or I learned that he uh, was uh, taken away and disappeared. Mr. Witness, this morning you also said um, that you said something about children uh, from Unit 3 stealing coconuts and, and that if they were told if they tried to do it again, they would be taken away for execution. Do you know of any real example of a child stealing a coconut or another fruit that was actually taken away um, to Krang Tachan? As for children, Réponse. no children were arrested. Aucun enfant arrêté. However, if they stole rice or a coconut a fruit si or fruit, si then they would be warned not to do that again. But they uh, were not uh, punished. They were very young children, uh, age of about uh, 12. De 12 ans à peu près. But this morning you said that Maître they were told Coppola. if they would Steal again, that they would be taken for execution. Is that 
something that you're not saying now anymore, or am I misunderstanding your answer? Il disait que s'il chapardait à nouveau, il serait emmené pour être exécuté. Changez-vous votre Est-ce bien compris ou changez-vous votre position? This morning, I that the boy would be taken to be killed, but it was just a threat. And in fact, they because after they threatened the children like that, the children stopped stealing anymore. Après qu'on leur ait fait cette menace, ils ont arrêté de chapeauter. Maître Coppola, j'ai la même question. Maintenant, ce que vous savez de ceux qui venaient de se marier? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été envoyés pour être exécutés? Vous savez qu'il y a des couples qui ont été As for the newlywed couples, no, they were not sent anywhere. But people would come to eavesdrop their living together, and they would be advised to consummate their marriage. Et on leur conseillait de consommer leur mariage. Mr. Witness, would it be fair to say that you are more describing maybe? A general fear of possible measures, but that in reality nobody was actually sent to re-education centers or Krantachan for violations like stealing coconuts or not consummating marriage. Would that be a fair summary of me? Is that a resume that is correct of what you have exposed? Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. A last set of questions, Mr. Witness. You said earlier this afternoon or this morning that you saw that Buddhist statues were thrown into the water. Could you give us some more details? When exactly did this happen? And where? I think you said where, but when and by whom? Who were the perpetrators of this? En a été l'auteur. Quand? Et où? The Buddhist statues at the Sakyum Pagoda were thrown into the water by the villagers, and those villagers were instructed to do so by the unit chief. And in fact, the Buddha statue was dropped into a pond just in front of the Buddhist temple. So it was done by the villagers at the instruction of the village chief. When exactly did this happen? Do you remember? It happened in 1975 after Phnom Penh fell, and that was the time that the monks were defrocked and the Buddha statues were dropped into the pond and the cooperative were established. Do you know if this village chief who instructed the villagers was punished, punished for his deeds, punished by the Khmer Rouge for his deeds? Pour ces actes. No, he was not punished. No, il n'a pas été puni. Because they were one and the same. He was also instructed from the upper level, probably from the commune chief. La même entité lui-même avait reçu ses instructions d'un échelon supérieur. Et il avait exécuté cette instruction. Do you know this, or are you speculating that he was instructed from the upper echelon? Question. Le savez-vous? Ou émettez-vous une hypothèse? I knew it for certainty because my cousin actually went there, but he didn't dare to break the Buddha statue.
So then he went down, and then other people went up to disassemble the Buddha statue and carry it and press it in the pond. And actually, the statue is still there currently. Do you know of any other examples Maître of uh, destruction of uh, Buddhist statues? Or was this the only time that you saw this or heard about it? La, la seule fois à votre connaissance. That's all I knew about the destruction of the Buddha statue. C'est le seul cas de destruction des de statues de Bouddha dont j'ai connaissance. Ils ont démembré la statue et ensuite l'ont jeté dans les temps. Merci beaucoup, Mr. Witness, Thank you very much, Mr. Witness for your answers. Je vous remercie. Thank you, Mr. President. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. President, le Président, thank you. And the uh, defense uh, counsels for Kiyosem Fond, 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 you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, President. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Good afternoon, je m'appelle Antagissé. Je suis co-avocat international de Monsieur Kiyosempan et j'ai de très brèves questions à, à vous poser pour avoir quelques précisions sur votre déposition. Hmm. Première question. Euh, dans mes notes, il apparaît que ce In matin, notes, euh, vous I avez évoqué que l'unité 1 était la force principale de travail morning, et euh, vous avez également indiqué qu'au sein de l'unité 2, il y avait des gens qui étaient moins forts. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre déposition Dire que les gens qui étaient plus forts étaient dans l'unité 1 et les gens qui étaient moins forts dans l'unité 2. C'est bien ça Uh, strong members or stronger members than those who constituted Unit 2. Is that exact? Man. In Unit 1, members were recruited based on the, their strengths and the age. Âge, As for the elder people, they, they were placed in another uh, unit. And yes, uh, unit, unit True's force was less, uh, was not as strong as uh, Unit 1. And they also were divided into uh, subgroups, for example, a mobile unit for women and for femmes, those women with children. Pour les femmes avec and enfants. also there would be the plowing unit, On which was a part of the strong de unit. Qui faisait partie de l'unité des forts. Um, dans votre déclaration devant les causes d'instruction euh, numéro E3 bar 55-15, à votre réponse 9, vous indiquez, euh, vous parlez de la division du travail et vous indiquez, euh, je vous cite, on a divisé les forces de, selon le travail qu'elles étaient capables d'effectuer. Pour les personnes âgées, on leur a donné, ordonné de fabriquer des vanneries de lianes tressées de grande dimension en forme de pelle pourvue de deux anses, servant à ramasser toutes sortes de choses. On a ordonné aux personnes un peu moins âgées de porter de l'eau pour arroser les cultures, de planter des cultures potagères et de cultiver du tabac. Quant aux vieilles femmes, elles devaient s'occuper des petits-enfants en groupe de 5 à 10 enfants en moyenne par femme. Les enfants devaient ramasser les bouses en dehors de ce travail de ramassage de bouse, on leur permettait d'apprendre à lire et à écrire environ deux ou trois heures par jour. Après le cours, on leur ordonnait de garder les bœufs jusqu'à 17 heures avant de manger. Fin de citation. Est-ce que euh, c'est ce que vous indiquez, euh, ce que vous m'avez répondu précédemment, à savoir qu'au sein de l'unité 1, il y avait différents groupes Est-ce que les groupes par âge se retrouvaient également dans l'unité 1 According to age, and they were members of Unit 1. Bah, Kim Chang, you really look to and her. As for the uh, women unit, they were placed into one group for uh, transplanting rice. And for uh, men, they were also placed into a unit uh, responsible for carrying earth. And children were placed into another unit. And other women were placed in a unit to look after the children. And other men were placed into a unit uh, for growing vegetables. 
planter, faire pousser les plantes. Hum. Ce matin également, vous avez évoqué addition, une, this morning, je crois, une unité de pêche. Est-ce qu'elle faisait partie également de l'unité A was the fishing unit, uh, a part of unit one. In all the uh, unit one and two and three. So they, there was a, a unit responsible for fishing and for gathering uh, vegetables for the uh, kitchen. And uh, some members of the unit were also responsible for Et planting uh, vegetables. Étaient responsables de faire pousser les légumes. Donc si je comprends bien, chaque so unité avait sa propre unité de pêche, sa propre unité de labourage qui fournissait la cuisine de chaque own, unité. Uh, C'est bien ça unit, which would be responsible for supplying provisions to each unit. Is that correct? Yes, that's what I meant. For uh, Unit 3, for example, they have their own uh, unit responsible for the uh, food supply to their respective unit. And then there's a fishing unit. And all these subunits existed across uh, the, the three uh, units. And uh, no, no unit or no subunit in Unit 1 can provide food supply to Unit 2 or Unit 3. They had to supply their own unit. D'accord. Et euh, right. en parlant de cette euh, unité de pêche, Speaking vous avez indiqué que unit, euh, dans le cadre de vos repas, vous aviez des soupes. Est-ce que euh, les soupes étaient agrémentées de poissons de pêcher par cette unité de pêche et si oui, à quelle fréquence And usually, for example, uh, every en tenth général, day we will be given uh, beef jours, on nous uh, in addition to our beef. regular vegetable. En plus As des for fish, we, we had a unit uh, to go fishing Pour and we poissons, would have fish uh, every pêche. day despite the uh, varied amount of fish that we had. Si la quantité changeait d'un jour à l'autre. Je vous remercie, monsieur le témoin. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions, Thank monsieur you, le président. Je cède la parole à mon confrère, Kang Samon. I have no further questions, Mr. President. I would like to hand the floor over to my colleague. President, uh, yes, and Councilor Kosmon, do you have the floor? Kosmon, thank you, Mr. Maître President. Vous avez la and good afternoon, Maître Mr. Pnau Yao. My name is Kosmon, and I have uh, some questions to put to you. In relation uh, to uh, your role during the democratic Cambodia regime, you stated that you joined the revolution in 1970, and later on you became a teacher for children. And I'd like to uh, clarify the timeline of uh, your various uh, duties and that you also uh, was in a CAD unit. So after 17 April 1975, what was your first job that you were assigned to do? Answer. Réponse. Initially, I worked in the rice fields je travaillais dans les rizières, in uh, unit two, uh, to the northern part. Au nord. Question, how long Question. did uh, you work uh, there? Combien de temps y avez -vous travaillé? Answer, I worked in the rice Réponse. fields in the northern part uh, from 1975. Until I was uh, evacuated or transferred to Unit 1 to the southern part, and that happened in 1976. Et ça, en 1976. Question. Can Question. you recall which month in 1976? 
answer. I, I pense. cannot uh, recall the months. Uh, it has been more than mois. 30 years now. Déjà il y a plus de 30 ans. I uh, can only recall that I it was a transfer there to write the, the card. And at that time, I was not Pour yet uh, instructed to, to teach. Et à ce moment-là, je n'étais pas encore enseignant. Donc, on vous a transféré à l'unité 1 pour que vous fassiez partie de la sous-unité de la CAD. Combien de temps avez dans des charrettes Combien de temps avez-vous travaillé dans l'unité des charrettes Réponse. J'ai travaillé dans l'unité des charrettes. J'ai travaillé dans l'unité des charrettes. J'ai travaillé dans l'unité des charrettes. I worked there for eight months, so it was almost a year. De la pierre pour édifier des bâtiments. J'ai travaillé pendant à peu près un an. And that that spent almost entire 1976. And later on, I was transferred to look after the children to ten cows. Afin de m'occuper. Question. Yes, you 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 did say that. Pour leur apprendre à s'occuper du bétail. This morning, that you looked after the children and you also tended the cows. In addition, you stated that there were about 100 children and 100 cows. Can you tell the court that within your cow tending group, how many workers were in it? Combien de travailleurs votre unité comprenait-elle? Answer. Réponse. Initially, I was alone. Au départ, j'étais tout seul. Myself, but by 1978, there was a young teacher who came to assist me. Un jeune enseignant est venu m'aider. So initially, I was alone looking after these 100 children. J'étais tout seul pour m'occuper de ces 100 enfants. Question. When you were by yourself looking after 100 children and 100 cows, what was actually your function? Quelle était votre fonction concrètement? Answer. My function was to teach children, and after the teaching session, then the children were sent to tend the cows, and I remained studying at the school. And by five o'clock in the afternoon, they would bring the cows back, and then they would have meal. Les vaches, et c'est à ce moment-là qu'ils prenaient leur repas. Question. Question. I ask you about your function or your status while you were taking care of the children. Were you referred to as a team leader, a group leader, or a unit chief while you were looking after 100 children and 100 cows? Quel était votre statut au moment où vous occupiez de ces 100 enfants et de ces 100 vaches? Je n'ai pas eu un petit groupe de mal pour d'amour le petit. Je vais mettre un groupe de mal. Designated as a teacher, on m'appelait while at the same time looking after the children. En même temps, je m'occupais des enfants. Question: Can you tell the court that in your capacity as this teacher, or in Khmer you say group promol podom, what does it mean? Group podom podom. Cela veut dire quoi exactement? Quel type d'enseignant étiez-vous? Le designated teacher ou groupe de Mopodom était pour des spécifiques parties de la coopérative, par exemple, pour le village ou pour la cuisine. Mais pas pour les unités itinérantes. Dans celle-ci, les enfants étaient plus âgés. Vous avez 15 ou 16 ans à l'unité itinérante. Question. Question. In your document, that is E3 slash 5515, in question answer 15, you spoke about the children unit, that there were male children and female children and concentration children. 
Et ensuite, My question to you une is, unité des enfants regroupés. In regard to the uh, concentration uh, unit, a uh, children unit, was it a sub uh, unit of the children unit, une sous -unité or de was it des enfants? A, a standalone uh, unit? Ou bien était-ce une unité autonome? Answer. Réponse. There were no. Uh, there was no female unit because for the uh, for the uh, female children they, they were looked after by uh, a woman une I femme qui looked after des the filles. male children Moi, je des Council, he I refer to your question. statement question answer 15 as you refer to uh, the children unit which comprise of male and female children and in addition you stated that there was also a concentration uh, children unit can you respond to that answer that's what I stated uh, to the uh, code investigation judge. Ce que I looked after the male children, or I referred to as a concentration children unit. Concentration children unit referred to younger children. Cela fait référence aux plus because for enfants. older children, uh, they were looked after and taught by other people. D'autres se chargeaient d'eux et leur they were actually at uh, Tmai Pagoda, pagoda that is those uh, elder children. And in fact, uh, those elder children, they were part of a, a mobile Les unit. Enfants plus âgés but the children that I looked after, they were uh, quite young. Ce dont je m'occupais moi était plus petit. Question. In order to clarify Question. this issue for all, can you Tirons tell the terre. court whether there was any female uh, child in your children unit? Y avait-il des fillettes dans votre unité d'enfants? Answer: so, No, there was no Réponse. female child. No, there were Pas only male children. As for the female children, they were placed uh, to the east, at eastern part of where I worked. À l'est de l'endroit où je travaillais. So, can we say that Question. children unit, in fact, Donc, was divided into two? Unité des enfants that is those who en deux. range, whose age range from eight to twelve. Il y avait les huit à douze ans. They were further divided into ensuite, a male children unit and female children unit, and you supervised the male children unit, filles, while another vous, person vous supervised the female children unit. Am I correct in uh, stating so? Des yes, exact. And uh, yes, uh, that is correct. Oui. Questioned. Since this morning, uh, upon listening to your testimony on the issue of uh, teaching Ce the matin, children, vous avez dit que vous cours aux enfants. you stated that you taught them how to write and vous how to spell que vous leur and how to do numeracy écrire, and no compter. other subject matters vous were taught. Dit que rien ne leur était enseigné. Did you yourself uh, received any uh, training -vous été formé from the upper institution on teaching, on the uh, teaching subject matter? Par vos and, instances uh, no, superiors. I did not receive uh, any Réponse. teacher training. Non, je n'ai pas été formé en tant qu'enseignant. I was uh, uh, simply assigned to teach the children. On m'a simplement chargé de donner cours aux enfants. Because they said that I uh, was illiterate, so that I should teach those children. J'étais considéré comme questioned. Quelqu'un de lettré, à même de donner cours à ces enfants. What about at a cooperative or at a commune level? Question. Et au niveau de la coopérative et de la commune, what subject matters to teach? Vous donnez-vous des instructions sur les thèmes de votre enseignement? Answer. Réponse. Yes. Oui. We were, I was instructed to teach uh, children for uh, three hours per day. On m'a chargé de donner trois heures de cours par jour. From eleven 
to 12 and then a lunch break de and then à midi, uh, puis we continue déjeuner, until 1.30 and ensuite, then they were let go to tend là, the, the cows. Les enfants allaient s'occuper des vaches. Question, the three hour teaching Question. program that you stated, was it a daily heures, routine? Dites-vous. Était-ce Answer. tous les jours I uh, engage in Réponse. teaching the children two, two and a half hours to three hours every day Chaque jour, because sometimes the uh, unit chief would walk, uh, walk by and see and if I did not teach the children then I was uh, blamed. Et s'il voyait que je ne donnais Question. pas cours, How frequent il pouvait was me faire des the unit chief coming Question. to see à quelle fréquence est-ce uh, que le chef d'unité how you venait taught those voir children? de quelle façon vous donnez cours aux enfants Answer. Réponse. Sometimes he came, for example, today and not the next day, but the day after. S'il venait un jour donné, peut-être qu'il ne venait pas le lendemain, mais bien le surlendemain. Question. Did any Question. other people uh, coming to visit you or to inspect the, the place where you were uh, inspecter l'endroit où vous donniez cours? Answer. Réponse. No, nobody non. else. I was uh, alone uh, teaching the children. Je donnais cours and seul. When the session was over, the children à just cours, uh, ran down to tend the cows. Les enfants and then I was by myself in the school. s'occuper des vaches et moi je restais seul à l'école. Question. While Question. you were teaching or uh, looking after the children, Quand vous cours, did any ou que vous of the parents of the enfants, children uh, coming to visit their children? Viennent rendre visite or did any of enfants? them come to request to bring their children along? Est-ce que certains demandaient à pouvoir emmener And, uh, leurs enfants avec eux? While I was teaching Réponse. the children, no parent ever uh, came because Jamais they were engaged in working. Parce qu'ils travaillaient. And in the evening, that uh, if any of the children wanted to soir, uh, go to see si their parents, they would come to ask me. Then I would uh, let him or her go. Ses parents, il demandé l'autorisation et je le laissais partir. Question. Question. While you were teaching, did you make any uh, assessment cours, on the children's uh, progress? Que vous For example, was there a test or exam examination in order, enfants, in order to assess the tests, knowledge absorbed examens, by those children that you taught? Answer, no, it, uh, I really réponse. did that. Non, rarement. And uh, in fact, uh, some of uh, those uh, children are uh, uh, still living today, and Certains yes, uh, they actually knew how to uh, read. Et ils ont effectivement appris à lire. Question. From the time Question. that you uh, worked as a, a teacher until the time the uh, regime uh, failed, What was your observation on the progress of those uh, children? Avant la fin du régime. Answer. Quel progrès avez-vous pu constater chez vos élèves? On this matter, uh, most of them élèves. knew about the uh, alphabets, but uh, they were Réponse. not really familiar or was were not well in numeracy. Mais I taught them, for example, just the numbers, for example, calculs, one to one hundred, but on uh, multiplication or division, they did not know well. Mais ils n'étaient pas très bons en multiplication ni en division. Question. Now I'd like to uh, discuss with you on the issue Question. of uh, labor. You stated that the children had to engage in uh, labor, uh, namely tending the cows after they concluded their study lesson uh, with you. Vaches, notamment, après les cours. How did you uh, devise the work for those uh, children? De quelle façon le travail était-il réparti entre les enfants? 
answer. Réponse. I divided the, the verb for those children in turning the cow uh, uh, in the following way. One children, uh, one child uh, needed uh, to tend one cow. Il fallait un enfant par vache. And then that child needed to bring the cow back uh, in late afternoon. La vache. En fin and as for the uh, cow dung collection, they needed uh, to each de vaches, get a basket full of cow dung. Chacun devait ramener un President panier interrupts. Uh, the time is appropriate for a short break, and we will uh, take a break uh, now and return at 3 o'clock. Les débats reprendront à 15 heures. Si l'audience, veuillez break. vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause. And have him return Et to the uh, court pour la again at uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Heures. The court is now in recess.